you were there for the 10th anniversary of the uh, of the invasion, and I want you to talk about that moment a, a little bit because the news from here, when we can get any, is very very grim. So even though yeah, you bring back the story of Love Can Conquer, uh, it's hard to see the future in Iraq right now. Yeah, I mean, of course, again, that's why I think we need to elevate those voices because it's certainly the majority that wants peace. And, um, you know, everybody that I met, I can't tell you how many people volunteered a couple things to me. One, like, nobody's ever come here to work with us and tell our story. People were telling me over and over and over again. They're always just telling what's happened to us, you know. And, um, and also that they, were, they all said, look, before 2003, before this war, war Nobody knew who was Sunni and Shia, and many of them even said that they didn't know growing up whether or not they were Sunni or Shia or Christian. But now you have the majority Shia, um, or rather the majority Shia against the Sunni minority. Um, the Sunnis saying that they feel kind of edged out uh, of power since the invasion of, and the ouster of Saddam Hussein, and what looks like a civil war brewing again, as it was five years ago. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it, when you say that uh, that it's, we have the worst violence in five years, that's what's happening. That's it, it's no no uh, secret that most foreign, foreign policy analysts already refer to Iraq as a failed state now. Um, but that's not the case, obviously, for the youth. I mean, I went there and I met all these people who are creating, you know, who founded TEDx Baghdad, founded Iraqi Culture Day to, to promote culture to unify this, this, the, the people again to uh, all these amazing groups. And, um, and they are the most resilient, optimistic people I've ever met. I cannot imagine arriving any place on earth, even in my own town or here in New York City, and trying to get people to unabashedly try to do something so brazen as to call for a global movement for change. And they all just came on board. Mm -hmm.